but Tanya here from Nurture in Nature and the Nature Bus. Thank you for joining me for these fabulous Children's Week activities. We are going to be having some fun in nature this week and I look forward to hearing all about your adventures. So before we begin, I'd like to acknowledge the traditional custodians of the land and pay our respects to Elders past, present and emerging. I'm on Kiro Warong land and I pay my respects to their elders past, present and emerging. Think about the traditional custodians on the land that you play, learn and explore on and take the time to acknowledge those. Okay, let's get into it. Now our first session for this week, we're going to be making our bucket full of nature, which you'll find all about in a moment. The second session, we're going on a little bit of a nature yoga adventure. It's going to look a little different to your what you'd normally think kind of yoga is all about. Uh, and I'm going to take you through a beautiful leaf meditation that you can use to help connect you to the country that you're on. And the third session, we're going to be zooming our focus in on the beautiful tiny little things in nature. So stay tuned for those two sessions. But for this one, we're going to get into making our bucket full of nature. Okay, so what is a bucket full of nature? Well, a bucket full of nature is a bucket full of ideas for your outdoor adventures. Now, sometimes, you know, you might think, oh, let's go outside. And, you know, all of a sudden, if you're anything like me, your brain goes blank. Your mind goes blank. <laughs> Um, happens all the time, particularly as you get older, kids. Um, <laughs> Alright, so we're going to make this bucket full of nature. So we've got lots of ideas at our fingertips to help us have fun in nature. But of course, also, you can just go out in nature and play and explore and learn um, without anything particular to do. Now hang on. So you'll find you have in your little um, information packs or you can download it here I'll put the link below this video the bucket full of nature ebook so this is seven easy steps on how to make your bucket full of nature so I encourage you to download that you don't need to print it out um, you can actually just look at it on the screen if you like um, but you can print it out if you want okay so let's get in to making our bucket full of nature now I'm going to show you. I feel like a bit like a cooking chef show at the moment. Here's one in my office over here that I prepared earlier. And this is my bucket full of nature. I'm going to show you how to make yours. And then you're going to go off and do it. Sound good? Great. Okay, let me see if I can balance that up there. All right. So what you need is you need a bucket. Now, if you don't have a pot plant bucket, this is just one I recycled from my garden. Um, if you don't have a pot plant bucket, you can use a jar or a bowl or a basket or whatever you like. So that's what we need. That's one thing we need. Hang on. Okay. The next thing we need are some pegs, some blank wooden pegs. And I'm going to show you what we're going to do with those in a moment. I'll pop them in my pocket for later. All right. You need some markers. There you go. I like my little office shelves up here. We need some markers and um, they're going to come in handy as well put them in my other pocket uh, and a piece of paper big sheet because you're going to have lots of ideas i know so now that you've got all your materials to make your bucket full of nature i'm going to go through the seven easy steps to making that happen and then you'll be ready for lots and lots of fun outdoors so the first step really is about getting clear on why you want to get outdoors so sit down as a group with the other kids in your class and your teacher or your parents and write down on the top of your sheet of paper the word why. And this is really important because when I know why it's important to me to do something, I'm more motivated actually to get out there and do it. So when you have your eye on the why, you're more motivated to get out and do the what. It's just kind of human nature. All right. It's funny, isn't it? Human nature. Because we are nature, of course. Okay, so why do you want to get outside in nature? Have a think about that. Maybe you want to learn something new. You want to have new experiences. You want to try uh, new skills. 
all sorts of things. Maybe you want to spend more time uninterrupted off your phone with your family and your friends. Okay, so now that you've got your why really clear and you've got your eye on it, <laughs> we're going to get into the what. So step number two is making your list. On the bottom of your big sheet of paper, I want you to start brainstorming as a group all of the different things you'd like to do or try or see or learn about in nature. I'm going to show you uh, some of the things that are on my bucket full of nature uh, just to give you some ideas but I'm sure you'll have lots and lots of ideas of your own and every idea we write every idea on our piece of paper. So no idea is a bad idea. Some ideas are a little bit harder to do than others but every idea goes on our what list. Alright, so what have I got? I've got make mud pies. It's raining today so maybe I can go out and make some mud pies a bit later. Uh, go stargazing. Werribee Zoo Twilight. Ooh, I could do that. Maybe when we come out of lockdown, go on a camping trip. Go to the beach, which is one of my favourite things. And another one on here actually is go to the beach and make sand globes which are really, really cool as well. All right, so I'm going to show you my bucket full of nature here. See, I've got my bucket and all my different ideas around here. Step number three is decorate your bucket. Just like I've done with this one, I've stuck stickers on it. You might want to draw, you might want to paint, you might want to get your Sharpies out. Uh, whatever you like to make your bucket uniquely your own. This is going to sit a pride of place where everyone can see it. So you want it to look pretty cool and I'm sure yours will. I can't wait to see them. So step number four is pegging your adventures. So now grab your list of all the activities you decided you would like to do. Now all of them may not fit on your bucket. You may not have enough pegs to write them all down and that's okay because that can be a for later list or if you need to you can get a bigger peg. <laughs> Of course I'm joking but wouldn't it be cool to have a big bucket full of nature with pegs like this on it. Excellent. Okay so what I want you to do now is pick your adventures from your list and write them onto your pegs. Now you can see this says climb a volcano. I've actually put that into my bucket because I've already done it. I'm pretty lucky I live right next door to a volcano so that one was easy but I get up there a lot and that's an activity that I like to do over and over again so I can keep filling my bucket with all these activities you don't just get to do them once you do them as often as you like and step number five is to go on your adventures so you can choose however you like to pick the things on your bucket maybe one person a day gets to choose a nature adventure or you can work that out Okay, now once you've been on your nature adventures, you can actually come back in, grab the peg, let's see, we've just made a daisy chain, and pop it into our bucket. So we're actually filling our bucket full of nature memories and adventures. So once you've been on your nature adventures and had lots of fun doing so, it's time for our bucket full of nature check-in, step number six. So what you do is you come back in and you can have a bit of a chat about your experiences and about the things that you've done, the fun you've had, the things you learned, maybe some things that were a little bit scary, but you overcame them uh, and had lots and lots of fun doing them. So you grab, say we have been out climbing a tree, which is one of my favorite things to do. Okay, we've been out climbing a tree, filled our bucket full of nature with all the tree climbing fun we can have. We take our peg and we pop it in our bucket. So as you can see, your bucket will get fuller and fuller of nature and adventures. And as I said before, you can always go back and go on your favorite adventures again. Now, the other great thing about having your adventures on pegs is that you can actually use these to display. Maybe you wanna take some photos and clip them up and attach them to a string on the wall or um, you can make a big bucket full of nature board with all your memories on them. So that's really fun. So the final step on your bucket full of nature, seven steps, is displaying your bucket. 
You want to be able to keep your bucket in pride of place so it's front and center in your mind and ready for your little fingertips to get your hands on a bucket load of nature ideas. Okay, so now it's time for you to go up and make your own bucket full of nature. I can't wait to see the nature adventures you put on your bucket and then hear all about them when you've gone on them as well. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video and I'll see you outside. Bye.